handshake problems using triangular numbers. Let us consider there are two people A and B. The number of handshakes that can be done is 1. Now let's check out for three people A, B and C. Starting off with A, let us assume that A shakes hand with B and C and then he goes and sits down. There are two handshakes done and two more people remaining. So one more handshake has to be done between B and C. Now all three people have shaken hands with each other. So for three people we have a total of three handshakes. Next let us consider four people A, B, C and D. First A shakes hand with the other three people. B, C and D. Now A goes and takes his seat. Three handshakes done and three people remaining. Next, B would shake hands with C and D. And then he too goes and sits down. Two more handshakes done and two people remaining. Finally, C and D will have to make one handshake. So for four people, we have... 6 handshakes. Now let's consider 5 people A, B, C, D and E. A shakes hand with 4 other people B, C, D and E. B shakes hand with C, D and E. C shakes hand with D and E. And finally D and E have a handshake. So for 5 people, we have 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is 10 handshakes. Now, if we notice carefully, the concept of triangular numbers can be used here. For 5 people, the number of handshakes can be determined by the 4th triangular number. For 4 people, it is the 3rd triangular number. For three people, the number of handshakes is the second triangular number. To generalize, for n number of people, the number of handshakes is determined by the n minus one triangular number. Let us recollect the formula to find the nth triangular number. It is half of n into n plus one. Imagine we have 17 members in a hall. The first person will have to do 16 handshakes. The second person will shake hands with 15 people. Third person with 14 people. This will continue till only two people are left out to do the final handshake. Thus, for 17 people, the total number of handshakes will be equal to the 16th triangular number which is half of 16 into 17 which in turn is 136. In simple terms for n number of people the number of handshakes would be half of n into n minus 1. The same concept is also used to find the number of cables in a fully connected network. Triangular numbers can also be used to find the number of matches that has to be played between n number of teams in a round-robin format. Hope this video has helped you understand the uses of triangular numbers. If you found this video worth watching, give it a like. Thanks for watching.